Now, I want to bring in Pennsylvania Democratic Congresswoman Madeline Dean, who is on the Judiciary Committee, also an attorney. Congresswoman, thank you for joining me. What is your reaction to what unfolded in the hearing this morning? What I saw was a majority party trying to do its duty, its constitutional duty of oversight, and I saw a circus on the other side. We also saw an empty chair. Attorney General Barr chose not to cooperate, not to speak for the American people about the facts of the Mueller report and his uh, obstruction of us getting that information. Remember yesterday, we were owed, the, the committee was owed the full documents under subpoena. The Department of Justice, and we have a letter from the Department of Justice, ignored that subpoena uh, and instead uh, chose not to come forward. The empty chair was really revealing to me because as I sat there in this, this grave moment, it reminded me that Mr. Barr is less and less relevant every single day. Uh, I care less about whether uh, Mr. Barr comes before us. We now need to hear from the person who authored the report, Mr. Mueller. Uh, Mr. Barr has proven himself to be an attorney for the president, has uh, obstructed our equal uh, responsibility of oversight uh, at this grave moment. So the empty chair said it all for me. But he's not irrelevant. He is the attorney general. And if you want to get all of the information out to the American people, who most likely are not going to read 400 pages, would a better strategy be to drop the demands and simply get Barr in that chair so you're in a position to reveal more to America all of the underlying issues that are in there? Because whether or not they reach criminality, there's a whole lot of unethical behavior. What I think is important is that the judiciary has a right to run its fair committee hearings uh, under our rules, not under the attorney general's rules, not under the president's rules. So we'll fight for uh, having the questioning uh, before the full committee, including staff counsel. Uh, it's appropriate. It's right. Uh, it meets the gravity of this moment. So just, just because we didn't have Barr before us today does not mean that we will not be able to use the levers uh, of our legal system to call him in contempt and to bring, us, bring him before us. What I said was he's less and less relevant, and this is the reason why. As Mueller's own letters and, and telephone call apparently revealed, Mr. Mueller was very concerned about the characterization by Mr. Barr of his report and its findings. Uh, that's what makes him less relevant because he's not an honest broker of information. We'll have him before us. Uh, we still will do that. But much more important will be Mr. Mueller's testimony, Mr. McGahn's testimony. We have a duty uh, to to step down this road of constitutional oversight of an administration that is corrupt and chaotic. Uh, we're going to do our duty. And you feel confident you have the levers to get them to sit down, whether it's Bill Barr uh, or Robert Mueller or Don McGahn? Yes, we have, we have the levers. Uh, we have subpoena power. Uh, but look at the flagrant disregard of our subpoena authority uh, with uh, Mr. Barr not producing the documents. Uh, and not showing up today. We have the levers. Uh, unfortunately, they're making it very, very ugly, uh, and that's an administration uh, that we'll have to answer. One of the things that the chairman said today is history will hold all of us accountable, Mr. Barr, Mr. Trump, uh, but all of us on the Judiciary Committee, Republican and Democrat. <laughs> history will hold us accountable, uh, and what I want to be able to say is we did our duty. We uncovered the facts for the American people. It is stunning that Robert Mueller, a truly chain of command type of guy, would take such efforts to write that letter, for that letter to make its way to the media. Uh, clearly, Robert Mueller is disappointed or frustrated with how Bill Barr has handled those 400 pages. What are your expectations uh, when and if you get that testimony from Robert Mueller? Well, it tells you the seriousness with which he uh, took the consideration of writing that letter. He knew that Mr. Barr was misrepresenting over and over again to the American people what was found in that report. And Robert Mueller, in the letter, worries about the confusion uh, and calls out directly Mr. Barr to end the confusion that he is creating uh, for the American people, uh, saying no collusion, uh, saying this is all over, nothing to see here. Uh, Mr. Mueller shows himself over again to be a very credible, um, honest broker of information on one of the most serious uh, investigations that we could have, Russian interference with our election, and an administration and a president willing to obstruct justice. Uh, so I take that letter very, very seriously. Certainly he knew the gravity of it uh, when he's coming out against the attorney general uh, in, for whom he works when he told him you, you're not uh, giving the American people the truth. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Dean, for joining me this morning. My